Hello everyone, with you auto problems, many car lovers probably had a question, which engine is the best, reliable and practical? German, Japanese or maybe American? Some 30 years ago, it was believed that the larger the engine size, the better it is. But over time, this trend has changed and today the volume of the engine does not say anything. The current trend in the automotive industry is to reduce engine size while maintaining power. This was made possible by the use of turbines. Thus, it is possible to achieve a reduction in fuel consumption even with an increase in engine power, which is very important in the modern world, especially with constantly rising fuel prices. In addition, the motor must have a good resource and maintainability. Surely many have heard stories from auto repairmen about indestructible motors that were opened with millions of runs, and they are like new inside. Today we will look at the most reliable and practical motors that have proven themselves over time from the best side. It is worth adding that this list is far from complete and includes the most famous mass-produced motors. Over the past few decades, automakers have managed to create enough masterpieces of engine building. Diesel power plants are traditionally considered the most reliable. Diesels are taken by those who need to travel a lot. Older generations of engines have a relatively simple design with a good margin of safety. Mercedes-Benz OM602 These engines include the OM602 family of five-cylinder engines with two valves per cylinder and a Bosch mechanical high-pressure fuel pump. These motors deservedly hold the palm for mileage and reliability. Cars with such diesel engines were produced from 1985 to 2002. These motors were not famous for their high power, they had from 90 to 130 horsepower. But on the other hand, this design promised advantages in reliability and economy. You can meet such engines on Mercedes in the legendary 124 body, as well as on the W201, on G-Class SUVs, on T1 and Sprinter vans. Even on later W210S, many examples have more than half a million miles on them. Record runs come across for 2 million km. And if you take care of the fuel equipment and attachments in time, then the engine design will almost never let you down. BMW M57 Bavarian motors are also in no way inferior to the main competitor. A well-deserved example of this is the BMW M57. This inline six-cylinder diesel engine, in addition to impressive reliability, also has a very lively character. The BMW 330D model in the back of the E46 contributed to the change in the image of a sports diesel engine. It could no longer be considered a slow car for pensioners or taxi drivers. This is a dynamic car with a powerful and high-torque diesel engine. This turbo diesel engine was the winner of the Engine of the Year award in Category A, volume from 2.5 to 3 liters, from 1999 to 2002. And his modifications won this award in 2005, 2006 and 2009. The power of these motors in different versions ranged from 201 to 286 horsepower. They were produced from 1998 to 2008 and were on most of the Bavarian models of the decade from 3 to 7 series. Also, options with the M57 engine are also found on Range Rovers. By the way, the M57 motor had a no less legendary ancestor, this is the M51 family of motors. They were produced from 1991 to 2000. They had minor problems, but serious breakdowns are extremely rare and most often they occur through the fault of the car owner himself. So, these motors run very well and runs of half a million and one million kilometers without repair are a common thing for them. The most reliable gasoline engines. Now let's move on to gasoline engines. In the domestic market, they are loved more than diesel ones. Still, gasoline does not freeze in winter, and the design of gasoline engines is simpler than diesel engines. Toyota 3S Fe. The honor to open the list of the most reliable engines falls to the legendary Toyota 3S Fe engine. This representative is considered one of the most reliable and unpretentious units. It is thanks to this motor that legends and tales about the unkillable Japanese of the 90s circulate among motorists. A four-cylinder 2-liter engine with 16 valves is typical for a mass engine of the 90s. Here we also include the camshaft drive with a belt and a simple distributed injection. This engine was produced from 1986 to 2000. Power ranged from 128 to 140 horsepower. More powerful versions of this engine 3SR and turbocharged 3S GTE inherited a successful design and good engine life. These engines were installed on a number of Toyota models. They can be found under the hood of Celica T200 Toyota Carina from 87 to 98, on Toyota Corona and Avensis, 2000 RAV4. Mechanics note the amazing ability of the engine to endure high loads, the convenience of its repair and the overall thoughtfulness of the design. With good maintenance, 
Such motors ran 500,000 km without major repairs. Mitsubishi 4G63 Next we have another unit that knows how not to bother the owners with minor problems, this is the legendary Japanese Mitsubishi 4G63 engine. Such a 2-liter gasoline engine and its variants appeared in 1982. And licensed copies and successors are still being produced. Initially, the engine was produced with one camshaft and three valves per cylinder, but in 1987 a version with two camshafts appeared. The latest versions of the unit were installed on the ninth version of the 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Such motors have found a place under the hood not only on Mitsubishi cars, but also on Hyundai and Kia. Over all these years of production, the engine has been repeatedly upgraded and all of its latest versions have a timing system for adjusting the timing and more complex power and inflation systems. However, all this does not affect its reliability in the best way. But the maintainability and convenience of the layout remained at the same level. Only atmospheric versions of the engine are considered millionaires, although turbocharged ones can also have a very large resource by the standards of competitors. Honda D15, D16. Next on our list are the Honda D series engines. This is another Japanese engine family, which includes more than a dozen varieties from 1.2 to 1.7 liters and rightfully deserves the status of practically unkillable. They were produced from 1984 to 2005. The most reliable options are D15 and D16. They developed 131 horsepower. At operating speeds up to 7000. Such motors were installed on the Honda Civic, HRV, Stream, Accord, and Acura Integra. With a combat nature and a small working volume, the resource before overhaul is up to 500,000 km. These engines produce a beautiful acoustic sound, the epitome of progressive engineering. Also, the thoughtfulness of the design gives chances for a second life for this motor and many hundreds of thousands of kilometers more. Opel X20 say, in fourth place among gasoline engines, we have a representative of the European school of engine building, namely the X20 say from the Opel engine family. This motor became famous for the fact that it often outlived the cars on which it was installed. Simple design, 8 valves, a camshaft belt and a simple distributor injection system are the secrets of longevity. Like the most successful examples of the Japanese school, it has a volume of 2 liters and the power of different options ranges from 114 to 130 horsepower. These engines were produced from 1987 to 1999 and installed on such models as Cadet, Astra, Vectra, and Omega, as well as on the Australian Holden and American Buick 5. These engines can easily exchange not only half a million mileage without major repairs, but with careful attitude reach up to 1 million kilometers. The 16-valve varieties X27C 20Z no longer have such health, but they can also please their owner for a long time, BMW M60. Now let's move on to the V-shaped 8s. V8 motors for passenger cars are lightweight and, given the complexity of the layout of such a large motor, this does not add reliability to the unit. V-shaped motors, missing the owners of major and minor breakdowns, can easily cross the threshold of half a million kilometers can be counted on the fingers, and one of them is again the Bavarian production of the BMW M60. Over the years, the company has upgraded its V8, the cylinders had a special coating, which gave a good margin of safety. A relatively small degree of forcing and a good design study made it possible to create a truly resourceful motor. The use of a nickel silicon coating makes the cylinders of such a motor virtually wear-free. Up to half a million kilometers, it is often not necessary to change even the piston rings in the engine. But there is one drawback. The durable coating of the cylinders is afraid of sulfur in the fuel, and after refueling with low-quality fuel, serious problems began. Later, they abandoned the use of nickel plating in favor of using an aluminum alloy, which had less durable characteristics, but was more resistant to low-quality fuel. Such engines were installed on the BMW 5 and 7 series from 1992 to 1998. Their simplicity of design, high power and a good margin of safety allow them to cover more than half a million km. The main thing is not to refuel with high sulfur Canadian gasoline. Toyota JZ. Let's move on to inline sixes. These motors are rightfully considered one of the most successful. The reliability of inline six cylinder millionaire engines was based on a relatively simple design and balance, and therefore the absence of vibrations. At the same time, such motors gave out good power. And now we will talk about Toyota engines 1 JZ GE and 2 JZ GE. These engines of 2.5 to 3 liters have earned the right to be called legendary. An excellent resource with a very lively character, this is the formula for their success. They were produced from 1990 to 2007 in various versions, including those with a turbocharger. They can be found on the Toyota Mark II, 
as well as the Lexus LS300 and G's300. Atmospheric versions of these engines can travel up to 1 million kilometers without major repairs. This is facilitated by a simple and very elaborate design and good workmanship, BMW M30. Of course, we cannot do without the BMW 6, this is the M30 engine. The history of the M30 engine began back in 1968 and was produced in various modifications until 1994. The working volume ranged from 2.5 to 3.5 liters, and the power was from 150 to 220 horsepower. The design is as simple as possible, a cast iron block, a timing chain drive and a 12-valve aluminum blockhead. In addition, there was also a sports version of the M88, where there was a 24-valve head. Like any reliable engine, the M30 has a turbocharged version. But turbocharging always accelerates engine wear. M30 motors were installed on machines of the 5th, 6th and 7th series of several generations. Without major repairs, they were able to run more than half a million kilometers. BMW M50 Another very reliable inline 6 of the Bavarians is the BMW M50 engine. This series continued the tradition of the M30 engines. Engine displacement ranged from 2.2 to 2.5 liters, power from 150 to 192 horsepower. The cylinder block is still cast iron, but the blockhead has only 4 valves per cylinder. In the later series, a tricky gas distribution system called Vanos appeared. This system receives commands from the engine control unit through a solenoid valve and opens the oil channel through which, under oil pressure, it acts on the mechanism that changes the position of the intake camshaft. This made it possible to increase torque at low revs and reduce fuel consumption. These motors repeated the feat of the previous M30 engine series and easily cover more than half a million km without major intervention. Conclusion Well, in conclusion, I would like to add that the reliability of any unit to a greater extent depends on the operating conditions. Even the most reliable mechanism can give up from a negligent car owner who forgets to simply change the oil or check its level. In addition, as we can observe, modern market conditions dictate their own rules for the reliability of units. It would seem that reliable motors that were developed by engineers decades ago should be refined with the development of technology and become more and more reliable. But unfortunately, this trend is working in the opposite direction and the market for repairs and auto parts today is the main source of income for automakers, and hence it is no longer profitable for them to produce million plus engines. It will be very interesting to know your opinion about the list. And that's all for me, thank you all for your attention, I will be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel, see you soon.